Let's get going. What do you need to take? Lead on, then. What a... Hmm. Blades, helmets... Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Show the, the sooner you... You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Until next time. What can I do for you? Divine smile on you, friend. Oh, did you need something? Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Ulfric? <laughs> Ulfric. 
You see? The terminology is clear. Ah! The Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. We went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Not now. Varengar. Varengar, you need to come at once. A dragon to excite me about. A dragon? No excitement. Where was it seen? Or what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Wi-Fi, I don't know if he can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragonstone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk more. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what... Still around somewhere. Kid, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Oh, <laughs> 
Damn good shooting, boys. Everybody, get back! been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. What do you need? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard. She's oh, 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 we will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here at White Road. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. She cannot hide from us forever. All we ask is to... You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeard. You've done Somebody a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to... The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Good day.
fresh bait club? Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your health. Remember? Once I've made enough money, before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? No, just Fair Blade and shadow, silence and death. Mm -hmm. These are my arms. For a modest fee, I've got my eyes are always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before us. Yeah, I'd even b trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Got something to say? I don't want some snotty elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. By the nine, I hate the weight. The goddamn weight. Faithless Imperials. Keep your eyes open.
can't win this. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Walk away now. Look. Keep oh. your eyes open. You're interfering with official formal now. business.
Need something? Oh, great. I can't see you. Red was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Harvey not to worry. Red will come back. If you see Red, this is her coming soon, very soon, 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 I can only... Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. If I were you, I'd keep... Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. 
I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. This has to be the... My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. Hey, watch it! Passing through. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Not today. I'm just not ready. anything I can get you, just let If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Those bears are making this town so beautiful. Oh, Raider, Raider! You live among the clouds now, dear Raider. Raider! You saw Rada? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Oh no! No, no, no! Narfi never got to say goodbye! Now Narfi's all alone. At least Narfi has Rada's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. 
Narfi's sad now. Still wait for Rayla. No more sleep. No, no, no. There's a cave here. Perfect hideout for bandits, or worse. 